Mark Rugen, your instructor. We're going to actually show you some of the new features and we'll show you some other programs too that can work with it. So virtually any engraver, tabletop engraver, any printer, any cutter, we can run it. How do I load my Adobe plugins into FlexiSign? You do not have to own Photoshop, but you do have to tell Flexi where those plugins are located. My plugin folder is where I want to tell Flexi those plugins are. And I click OK and it loads all the plugins in. You'll only have to do that once. From then on, the plugins are available to you. The problem with this particular graphic is that JPEG file and, the, and it's got that little halo around the edges. If I try my, my regular auto trace on this and I grab this part right here, you'll see the results. Right? Nice jagged edges. And a real neat tip is just, just go up to the filters that are included in Flexi and choose a blur. Now when I actually apply this Bezier uh, feature, it gives me a nice clean uh, piece. So literally, it, it traced the entire thing. I gave up a little bit of accuracy for the sake of, of not having to clean up the entire image. Vector Magic was invented by some students at Stanford University. This is a vectorizing program. I'm going to change this into vector artwork. Here's the original. I'm just going to hit automate. And this is the result. Now, that length right there says it's only four and a half inches because that's not to scale yet. But I know that's 12 feet. So in that case, I have the rectangle selected. I go to arrange and resize. And I tell it, I tell Flexi that's 12 feet. 12 FT for feet. And then I tell it to apply that scale to everything on the screen right now. So apply it to everything. Click the check mark. That's 12. I know that so I can get rid of it. And now everything's to scale. So the flower word up here needs to be cut 66 and a half by 11 and 3 quarter. Or, you know, that's, that's a fast way of scaling using a photograph. So that's normally what you'd see. Here's the color I'm trying to get. I send it to my printer. I get that. Bad, 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 bad. So here's what I've told Flexi. Make sure that you take into account the real colors that my monitor is making. Not the Adobe colors, the real colors. That's what this does. I'm printing this kind of printer and I'm going to print on that kind of media. So now I'm going to click OK and let's just watch the screen. We're still in soft proof totally different result. There's one last thing you have to tell the program to do. You have to give it information about where the image came from. And that's called the source profile or the input profile. So now that I've defined it like this, I can assure you I've done this thousands of times. When I send this out to that printer, I'm going to get that result.